Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. This is the second part of this short series. We are now on to the paint correction, and as you can see here, we're going after some light marks. These are what I call love marks. They're topical. There are some scratches that are a little bit deeper, but I believe we can get a good 97% of these imperfections out. And what we're going to test first is the one and done from Turtle Wax. We'll team that up with a Eurofiber 5050 pad on a polisher with a 15 millimeter throw. So it's not all that powerful. Clear coat is medium and we should be able to uh, remove what we're going after in a crisscross pattern equal to two passes left to right then up and down so let me do that for you we'll wipe off the residue come in and take a look if we need to we have two other test areas where we can go up in aggression you always want to start with the least aggressive methods necessary and having worked on surfaces like these before this should do it Quick tip, stop the polisher and before you lift it, let the oscillation and the rotation stop. This will help cut down on wear and tear on both the pad, backing plate, and even the polisher. Uh, that along with regular maintenance, lubrication, and changing the grease uh, in the gearbox will keep the temperatures down, the longevity and durability of your polishers. Hours go six, sometimes seven days a week, so we try to prolong their lifetime or life cycle as long as we can. We'll come in and take a look and great strides were made. Those imperfections were removed. We just need to follow it up with something just to clear it up a little bit, bring out that depth and extreme gloss and reflection, crisp reflection from the surface. To finish things down, another great combination, the Gloss Pad Car Pro and Car Pro's Reflect. Yet another great combination uh, amongst many that I have shown you so far will give you some very, very satisfying results. Let me show you right here. Nice and clear again, especially if you are thorough enough to wipe off all of the residue. Follow up with a panel prep just to make sure. Let's once again put some numbers behind what we are looking at and quite an impressive jump when it comes to uh, gloss and clarity. What I'm going to do is continue around this vehicle with those exact same combinations of pads, polishers, and correction fluids. Even though it's two-step, I should be able to get around this vehicle rather quickly. Okay. 
just to make 100% sure. I will hit it with a panel prep now that I've done the whole uh, trunk lid, wipe it down and come in and take just one last look. Absolutely. I will stick with this combination and periodically we'll grab the swirl finder and check our work. We'll go panel by panel from top to the bottom and get around this Mercedes. Some small adjustments here and there as we swap out polishers to get into the smaller and tighter areas. We coat all painted surfaces here at our shop. That means anything in the hatch or trunk area, underneath spoilers, uh, door jams, under the hood, inside the gas cap. And before they get coated, they need to at least be polished with a cleaner polish. Uh, maybe not aesthetically polished so it looks perfect unless it's a show car, but at least clean. The hood is absolutely huge, so the shop manager wanted me to pause and check our work. And using the shop light right across from the hood on the other side of the vehicle, we can see it looks absolutely fantastic. With the top of the vehicle fully corrected, all that's left, the driver's side and passenger side, and it won't take long to breeze through those panels. And they turned out just as impressive looking as the rest of the vehicle. Right. 
By the way, I'm often asked why there is a tent inside the shop. I mean, that's a great question. We use that as a small clean room. Uh, when we're laying down paint protection film while correcting, you could probably imagine the problem that would cause. So with some air scrubbers and that little uh, tent or clean room, it really does help us a lot. Time to prep the surface for the coating. The correction is done and our favorite Gion prep. When it comes to the coating itself, of course, it's going to be our ceramic metal oxide coating and then whatever applicator you like or choose. Quick tip, our shop is conditioned, so we just normally do a 3x3 three three section and we will lay the coating down with a crisscross pattern. If you're finding that it's extremely hot and humid and uh, you're maybe working under a tent and not inside, I would definitely just lay down the coating in straight lines overlapping by a quarter inch, work a little quicker, maybe even a smaller area, and then start to wipe it off a little bit quicker. Straight lines instead of a crisscross pattern. Why? Well, a crisscross pattern, as you can imagine, will cause a little bit of friction. It will add a little bit more friction, which speeds up the bonding process. Another quick tip, and this goes for absolutely any coating. For those of you that store in areas that are much cooler than the area you apply them to, let them come up to temperature. Let them come up and join the ambient temperature of the room that you're applying the coatings, and your day will be much smoother. A first person view of straight lines and also the crisscross pattern. Once again, if you are in a sheltered area conditioned shop, the crisscross pattern's fine. That ensures even coverage, so that's fine and recommended. But if you know what you're doing and you're having or struggling with high temperatures, straight lines will speed up the process. You'll have even coverage if you just take your time and overlap and then immediately start to wipe off. And there you go, no streaking, no high spots, no blotching whatsoever, and that would easily show up on dark colors. And then we continue this process all the way around the vehicle, from top to bottom, all hard surfaces, including plastic trim, wheels, calipers, even glass if you want to. Once again, showing you that we do coat absolutely every single square inch of the vehicle that has a finished paint system. That means under the spoiler, uh, and especially in this area where a lot of dirt gets in there, and we want to make it so the customer can just rinse it out of there or just make it easier for them to clean and then dry it. You can blow it out of there with a small leaf blower or shop blower. Uh, we get the door jams under the hood. Uh, especially helpful coating those areas under the hatch of an SUV where 
especially if there's trees nearby, a lot of tree dirt, dust dirt can accumulate in there and sit. Well, if it's coated, you're going to blast that out of there really quick. And when you go to dry, it's going to be easy to dry as well. Not only that, but we that makes us stand out from a lot of shops. A lot of shops locally will not do that. They just do the surface of the vehicle that people can see. While I'm under the hood, let's take care of the rest of the surfaces and we'll use Protect All for them. Let's take some time and thank our Mr. Arthur Mintz for his dedicated devotion to the build of this gorgeous Mercedes. That brings us to the cherry on top, and that's the tire dressing. Jess Carr is my choice. That will wrap it up for this project. Let's walk around and enjoy the results.
This has been Brian from Apex Detail. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section and I'll get back to you. Catch you guys in the next video.